Hey, my name is Olivia. Welcome back to my channel. A place for aspiring and active t-shirt business owners. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you the staples that you need to start your own HTV t-shirt business this year. So let's go ahead and get into it. The first thing that you need is a vinyl cutter. Now for me, when I first started out, I use the Cricut Explore Air and now I know they have a second version of it and a third version of it. It doesn't matter which one you use, the whole purpose of it is to have something that will cut your vinyl, heat transfer vinyl, okay? So that's the only reason you need it. No, you do not have to get a Cricut Explore Air if you don't want to. Uh, however, I feel like, I think that that is the most affordable one out there because the ones above that are a little bit more on the pricey side, so. Hey, if your budget fits that and you want that and you wanna go all out when you first start, go ahead. I'm just letting you know that I personally use the Cricut Explore Air and I still do to this day and I haven't used any of the fancy, you know, fancier ones. I think the main difference between the one that I have and the more fancier ones or more expensive ones is that they do cut a lot quicker and I don't think you have to cut your vinyl as much when you roll it off. When you take it off the roll, you just place it onto the vinyl cutter, but I have no problem with doing that. So you have to do whatever fits for you. Now, next what you need for your business is HTV, AKA heat transfer vinyl. All right, and you can source this from online or you can source this from your local wholesaler if you have any that are local, okay? Now, when I first started, I did buy mine offline. I'll leave a couple links below, but I did buy mine offline, and now I'm able to buy it locally. Now, when it comes to heat transfer, there are several different ones, and I recommend starting off with the basic, the basic, the basic, okay? So they have glow in the dark, they have printed ones, so like animal print or rainbow print, ombres, they have puff vinyl out there, and they have velvet vinyl also. Wanna start a t-shirt business from scratch without any prior experience or graphic designing degree? Come join me in a free training that I am hosting where you learn how to pick the right tools and materials, how to choose the best online platform to sell on, and how to get sales without paying for ads. It's for complete beginners and I'm breaking down my entire process for you. So if you're serious and you wanna learn how this process works, you don't wanna miss this free training where I'm breaking every single thing down. Sign up for this free training by clicking the link in the description below. But I don't even use those to this day. <laughs> I I haven't ex you know I haven't tried them out. So I know people in my family have, and they have had good things to say about it. But however, I stick with the basic. It's what works. Like I said, personal preference. <laughs> Damn. Oh, bless me. All right. So once you've gotten your vinyl, next thing you need is a heat press. All right. Now, when I first started out, and still to this day, I use the 15 by 15 inch heat press. The basic press down press up I don't have a swivel I do not have the swivel heat press I don't have any of that I just have the basics all right so like I said I have the 15 by 15 inch heat press however I know that they now offer I don't remember the measurements but I know that Cricut does offer their own heat presses and if they had that when I first started out I would have invested in that versus the heat press but like I said nothing's wrong with the heat press it didn't cost that much it was under 200 bucks and like I said you you do what works for you there's nothing wrong with getting the Cricut easy press I think that's what it's called I know they have different sizes so whatever this the size of it will also depend on the type of design that you want to do on your shirt. If you know you want to do say 12 by 12 designs, I do not recommend getting the little small easy press that they have. It's not going to work or it may work, but you're gonna be there forever trying to press this vinyl onto your t-shirt, okay? And we don't want that. We wanna make it as smooth of a process as possible. All right, so I would recommend getting the biggest one that they have. To add onto that, you're going to need blank t-shirts, all right? And you can source these from, like I said, yes, you can source them from your local craft store. However, um, if you get that from your local craft store, they're gonna be a little more pricey, much more pricier than, than getting them from a wholesaler offline you might want to check and see if you have any t-shirt wholesalers locally around you because that'll be even better that way you don't have to wait on shipping or anything like that but when I first started out I did order offline so I'll I've had the experience of ordering my blank shirts offline and I've had the experience of just going to my local wholesaler and being able to buy blank t-shirts from them. So that is what I do now. It's, it's okay 
either way it doesn't matter however you just want to make sure once you're running your business and say you have your Etsy shop set up just make sure you put that turnaround time that it takes for your wholesaler to ship the shirts over to you you have that turnaround time in your shop somewhere where the buyer can see how long it's going to take for them to receive the shirt because you got to think about you have to keep in mind that okay how long is it going to take for me to receive the shirt and then how long is it going to take for me to actually create the shirt for the customer and then ship it out okay so you got to think about transit definitely keep that in mind okay so either way is fine there is no wrong or right way to do this printer you're going to need a printer i like to print out my orders however you do not have to print out your orders if you can keep up with your orders just with them being on your computer that is perfectly fine however i like to print out my orders but i have the printer mainly for when i want to print out my shipping labels now i have a dymo label writer um i don't know the exact one but that is what I have now. And now I don't have to, you know, uh, use ink or anything. But when I first started out, I just had a printer and basic printer paper, okay? And if I didn't wanna tape the printer paper to my packages, then I'll use the adhesive printer paper where you can peel off uh, and it has a sticky side to it. You just put it on your poly miller or whatever you use for your packaging. That's perfectly fine. But that is what I use my printer for, okay? And you do not have to get the most fanciest or most expensive printer out there. The printer I had purchased was only 40 bucks now I can't say that it's that same price right now however I will link some similar ones down below compared to the one that I have right now last but not least we're going to talk about packaging you're going to need packaging of course I mean you need something to ship your shirt in once you finish creating the shirt to keep it simple I recommend having poly mailers you can get them off Amazon you can also get them from I think like office max but I believe you'll be paying much more if you buy from them so I recommend ordering offline from either either Amazon and or Etsy. I know there's other places too. You can go on, um, not Amazon. You can go on Instagram and see who has their own custom poly mailers if you like. It's all personal preference. When I first started out, I tried to be fancy and I had these gold metallic poly mailers that I had bought from Uline. I didn't need it. So you save much more money. Uh, you save a lot more money by just ordering off Amazon or Etsy is fine too. Now, I know if you've seen my videos and you see me package my t-shirts, I know you've also seen the clear adhesive bags with the warning sign on it. It's not a requirement. I just like to use it for extra durability for my shirts when they're going through transit. I just wanna make sure just in case, cause things do happen through transit and I do everything possible to make sure my t-shirt gets to the customer in one piece. Okay, not marked up, dirty up, you know, cause it can go through different weather. Not every male person is going to handle yourself with care. That's just the truth. Okay, so you have to prepare for that. However, you like to prepare for that. Like I said, it is not required. You can just use a poly mailer and put your shirt in there and call it a day. And next with packaging, also like I mentioned before, about your shipping labels. You're gonna need shipping labels to print out and put onto your packaging to ship it off to its destination. Like I said before, I use either the, for my printer, I use the adhesive sheets and or plain printer paper, print it out and tape it with packing tape onto my package. And that's it. Today was a pretty short video, but I hope it was informative. You found value in it and it helped you. And if you have any questions, definitely leave a comment below and I will be sure to answer it for you if you have any other further questions when it comes to starting a HTV t-shirt business. All right, so I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.